Hey everybody, I just finished my willy, so I decided to make another video. Uh, this was going to be an up bench update video, but since the willies is finished, I'm going to try to combine them into a short video. But anyway, I love this willies. I, I, it's almost everything I envisioned in my head. I wanted an ice blue pearl, and I bought some SMS paint called Ice Blue Pearl. And I put it down over a white base after some test, and that seemed to be the best for me. But when I put it on, it was just a little bit lighter than I really wanted it to be. So I took a chance. I took some clear blue and just put one light coat of clear blue over it, and, and I really liked what I got. So then I put the bare metal foil on all the trim and then did the urethane clear over top. Um, I also used the SMS chrome paint on the wheels and the back ones I did the centers a little darker with some alum or uh, I think I believe it was dull gray or dull aluminum or dark gray or something I don't remember front ones I left all chrome and I put my old number because I had a blue Willie's coupe that I drag raced and I put my number on it, even though this is much nicer than mine was, but it it kind of brings back the memories of my own, so I thought I'd put my number on it. And I used the stock Willie's tail lights. I thought about bumpers, but I don't have any. I was going to try to make some, but I think it'd be a little bit of the wrong theme to go with bumpers. And I, the grills, I also used the SMS chrome paint. And that really worked out nice because with the black base, it kind of stayed in behind the fins. So it, it looks, you know, give it some depth. Also did blue, some clear blue on the headlight lenses from behind. So they're tinted blue. Um, the injector stacks, I did clear blue on the tops of them. Try to match pretty much colors here. I even put uh, blue windows in it, which is hard to tell. The windshield's clear, but the, the sides and the back are blue. The engine's a big block Chevy with a resin uh, injection manifold. And I think this, this tubes are from um, Detail Master, maybe? I'm not sure. I can't remember now. But I shortened half of them to give them the staggered look like a lot of big blocks have big block chevys anyway anyway I, i'm just thrilled with this thing i this is, i got more excited about this i think than i have with any model i built in the last couple of years let's show the bottom side that chassis is all scratch built the floor pan was from a revell pro sportsman kit just heavily modified and I put carbon fiber decal on it, which I've never used before. Um, I did to top and bottom, used the whole sheet. You can't see the inside, but it's the same carbon fiber deal. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I'm thrilled. Oh, and I used uh, magnets. You can see a magnet inside there, inside the hood. There's one. One on the cow. I don't have a pointer, but little shiny thing right there is a magnet, and then inside, so the magnets will hold it on. And I flared the opening around the injectors. So anyway, I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, you know, keep you on here too long. So I'm going to just quickly update what's on the bench. So I love starting new projects. So the first one I started is going to be the Scotty Cannon Onsat 63 split window. Have decals already from the good folks at SMS. I have them for the Willys also, but I'm going to do the Corvette for now. It's the one I, next one I picked out of the out of the um, cup with my lot my lottery system here for who goes next. So I heavily modified a chassis floor pan for that. That was from an old Pro Stock, which it was a resin one I made, had a lot of bad spots in. Turned out most of the bad spots I had to cut out anyway, because these 
these pans usually have um, the floor usually kind of kicks up or which one way or the other I've uh, got a stock one here somewhere I'll try to find it real quick okay yeah you can see the you can see the difference so that's what I had to modify and I got to make a firewall because the firewall from this kit would have been way too far forward so it that's uh, it's gonna give me fits I'm sure but I'll get it and then the next one is going to be that I pulled out of the lottery system again. Going to be the Cheese Whiz 55 Chevy, if any of you guys remember that. It was in Hot Rod Magazine where Scott Sullivan built it, drove it across the country. So I'm going to use the, the stock 55 chassis. Got to get rid of that exhaust system. And then back half from the 66 Nova Pro Street. So I'm getting started on two new ones. And like I said, I, I love starting new projects. I get, get kind of antsy towards the end that I just want them done. But I like starting new ones. Oh, and also while I while I was clearing the, the willies, I decided to clear my 33 willies and see whether I like it or not. Because this had been back in the box. And I didn't like the frame that I built, so I may start over. I wanted to see if the clear... You know if I'd actually like the the color combination because this was done with nail polish and I think it's pretty cool I think I'm gonna build a chassis for it which I actually started over here that's the one for the Corvette and then I started this one to go in the 33 Willys so really I have three projects going when I like to do two but the Willys is kind of not really a project it's just a something to play with in a in my downtime if I'm waiting for things to dry on the other stuff. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show everybody what I got going here and mainly show my willies. And I won't keep you long. So we'll be back, uh, I don't know, another week or so, have another update. All right, thanks for watching.